Exactly two months after she was voted out of the mayor's office by the city council, Lisa Baldelli Hunt has started her fifth term as the mayor of Winsocket. I'm Shannon Heggie. Now she was voted out of office by the city council back in October, but then ran unopposed in November's election. She was sworn in tonight at the St. Anne's Arts and Cultural Center, along with other newly elected officials on the council. And that's where we find 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts live in Woonsocket now with how the mayor is looking ahead. Amanda. Well, Shannon, that's what tonight was all about. Looking ahead, moving forward and making changes. The mayor said now that she is back in office, the first thing on her to do list is to make sure what happened to her doesn't happen to future mayors. Two months to the day after being ousted from office, Woonsocket Mayor Lisa Baldelli Hunt is sworn back into office for a fifth term. Her inauguration took place at the St. Anne Arts and Cultural Center, the ceremony led by her son Sam. Yesterday marked the end of two shameful months where the city and its constituents were stripped of their voice and democratic rights. But today, in this glorious church marks a new beginning. State leaders and other Rhode Island mayors gathered in support. Look where this city was and look where it is now. On October 6, Baldelli Hunt, who's led the city since 2013, was voted out of office by her peers in the city council after a former councilor filed a complaint saying she wasn't performing her mayoral duties. But on election day, Baldelli Hunt ran unopposed and was reelected with roughly 76% of the vote. In her inaugural address with a new city council sworn in, she said she looks forward to working together. We will find common ground, and that common ground is to do what's in the best interest of the residents of this city and says she will be creating a charter review commission to ensure the city council doesn't do to future mayors what was done to her. What you shouldn't have is a right to strip somebody from office because five people have decided uh, that that's what they would like to do. And we need to make certain that that does not happen again and does not happen to anyone else in the future. Now, in addition to swearing in a new city council, a new school committee was also sworn in tonight. Live in Woonsocket, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.